U.S. frustration with Israel has grown in recent weeks, new UN resolution is sign of that displeasure. Many nations throughout the globe have urged for a stop to the violence in Gaza, and Washington's steadfast diplomatic backing for Israel at the UN has placed the US in an increasingly isolated position. Additionally, there is internal pressure on President Biden to reroute the war inside his party. The US has twice used its veto power as one of the Security Council's permanent members to oppose measures intended to end the conflict. When a proposal supported by Algeria is presented to the Security Council on Tuesday afternoon, it is anticipated to do so once more in support of a quick and durable ceasefire. The White House contends that it would make the ongoing discussions for a new hostage agreement more difficult and that a break in hostilities now, in the absence of an agreement, may lead to the hostages being held permanently. But since the number of civilian deaths in Gaza has continued to increase quickly and aid into the region has been blocked despite U.S. demands, U.S. dissatisfaction with Israel and Benjamin Netanyahu has been progressively increasing in recent weeks. Reports of a resolution developed in the U.S. are likely an indication of this disapproval and an effort to change the perception across the world that the nation is involved in the conflict. According to sources, the phrase will, as far as we can tell, only apply to, as soon as practicable, a departure from U.S. policy, and will call for a temporary truce. This allows room for interpretation over the exact date. An invasion of Rafah, in southern Gaza, would have serious implications for regional peace and security, but only under current circumstances, according to the resolution, which is essentially a criticism of Israel. This leaves open the possibility that Israel will provide a workable plan for the 1.2 million civilians who are seeking refuge there. The U.S. resolution would also be contingent on the release of any hostages still held and the removal of all obstacles to allow for the increased flow of humanitarian supplies. The date of the vote is unknown, U.S. ambassadors to the U.N. have advised against holding it today and stated that they are not in a haste to move it along. First, there will be private talks as the U.S. needs to garner backing and maybe change the language to make it passable. The majority of members of the U.N. Security Council may protest the existing arrangement because they demand an early ceasefire, 